So uh, I'm going to ask you three categories of questions here, uh, all regarding different aspects of the future. Uh, first, the world and the environment. Uh, do you consider yourself an optimist? Well, not anymore, no. Uh, no. Yes. Not really. Yeah? Yes. I obviously want things for the future, but I'm, it's not looking bright. Uh, do you have any personal predictions for the apocalypse? Well, I'll have to go. <laughs> <laughs> the way it's going, kid, uh, I don't think it'll be quite uh, long. I'm not seeing out, but... It's dead. I assume we've just greedy. Uh, I reckon it's going to be climate based. If the, ca if the world carry on the way it's going, then yeah, it's going to be out. 100%. We go through cycles with the planet. The yeah, rich might just get richer. Um, money to be made. And the poor have to survive themselves. Like. Do you recycle? Yes. Uh, why? It's drilled into me, isn't it? It's just drilled into society. The way I am. It saves uh, money. I know, I feel like I'm doing something. A single person's recycling is nowhere near as effective as getting big companies to actually promote green methodologies, I guess. Do you think the human race has the potential to make the world completely unlivable? Absolutely. Unfortunately, I think, yeah. We... I think we're going in a better direction. It's just having that mindfulness about what you do now and the impact that it has later on. Right, uh, thank you. Next section, uh, moving on to artificial intelligence. What do you do for work? What do I do? Can't say. I can't say. HR admin assistant. Care worker. Care worker. Well, care worker. I work on the railway. Do you think an AI could replace you? Absolutely. Absolutely. 50 50. No. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. No, no. Do you think AI can ever truly achieve self awareness on a human level? Yes. Absolutely. We, we could never create a computer as powerful as our brain. Personally, maybe not. It's soulless. It maybe in the future. Um, I think it is possible. Yeah, I think it'd get close. Would you ever transfer your consciousness into a computer? Yes. It depends on the computer. <laughs> it's just a bit weird. Uh, I don't think a computer would want mine. I'd rather not. I don't I know. I wouldn't. It's prolonging my life. I think when it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Um, moving on to medicine. Uh, how much of your body, if you had to, would you be willing to replace with prosthetics? I mean, hopefully none. All of it, if I had to. None. None. None, none at all. Strip me apart, fucking get get me robot arms. I just fuck me up. I don't. I don't want. I'd it. do it all if I had to. Yeah. No, and it's all bugged there. My limbs definitely, but not like all those. If a prosthetic limb was stronger and more durable than your regular healthy limb, would you get it replaced? No. Uh, no, no, no. Because the natural arm is enough. What the heck? If there's nothing wrong with my good arm, then no, I wouldn't have it replaced. Let's say scientists have developed a pill for immortality. Would you take it? No, no, no. no. But over time. Probably. I'm I would no. take it, but I wouldn't feel good about would. it. Uh, who do you think would? All the greedy rich people. I don't think there's a single billionaire out there who's ever going to say, no, I don't want to live forever. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> what do you think society would look like if such a pill existed? It'd probably just end up being a rich poor guy. It could go very well. Probably turn into some sort of dystopian nightmare. Interesting. All right, uh, closing questions now. What do you think of the questions I've asked you here today? Pretty interesting. Pretty cool. yeah. Makes me think. Yeah. I don't know how that, because it just seems a mixed bag. It is interesting, but not something I generally think about. Interesting. I didn't expect anything like that. It'd be nice if politicians asked the same questions. Why do you think I asked them? I think it's really interesting that you've got this documentation now, because you're going to be alive to see the results of the questions that are being asked. Yeah, because questions like these come up a lot. It's just never had the time to actually talk about them and think about them. Why do you think, as a species, we try and predict the future? I think we try to be cleverer than we are. Because we're frightened. We're frightened of what's, what's coming. You know, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do in five years, but it's good to have a plan for the next day and the next week. Is the future worth predicting? I can't see a future for anybody. It's bleak. You're wasting the time you're in now thinking about what's going to happen. And uh, what are you going to do with the rest of your day? I'm oh. going to sleep. I feel very sick. Yeah, yeah, I haven't slept either, so probably do that. To see my girlfriend back home. Uh, I'm going to go uh, into work. To go to a Christmas do. Home. Go home. Go home. Pub. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Could you say your first name for the camera, please? My name's Kush. My name is Zen Bashir. Jill. Mark Abel. Uh, Aisha. It's Matthew. Nate. Uh, Joel. Uh, Nix. Nayara. Uh, James Hodgkinson. It's uh, Shaista Raja. Rihanna. Edward. Brad. Hi, fantastic. Thank you, Charlie.
Good, yeah. good topics. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much.